Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. Well, let's see. I got to answer a few questions. Um, one question somebody asked me recently was, you know, what do I think about what's going on with the markets, considering the economy, etc. Well, I think I've made my thoughts about thinking pretty clear. When you're trading, don't think. See. For example, if you look at charts on any site like uh, Yahoo.com or NSM.com, you go to their finance sections, you can type in Apple or Goog or Priceline, doesn't matter what, or the Euro or the Pound, and a chart will come up. And on that chart, there'll be horizontal lines, okay? Now, if you're sitting in front of a live chart, and you see price going up to a horizontal line, which way is price moving? It's moving up. So when it hits that line, which way do you think you should enter the trade if you haven't already entered and you're considering entering? If it's going up, that's what your eyes are telling you. What's the reason you would go short if you're, you you don't believe what you see and that's part of the problem so if you look at the say the SPY over the past six seven days it's gone from 134 to over 140 today but many people are saying well you know this that I think this that and it should go down well if you went short you got your head handed to you unless you were quick got out or maybe took a quick profit so the point is is when it comes to trading don't think see chances are you're going to be on the profitable side a lot more than on the losing side if you do that now something else people ask me why do i keep posting the same thing over and over and over again I think I've answered this question before too. Repetition is the mother of skill. If you want to play a musical instrument, what do you do? You practice the same thing over and over and over again. If you're a ball player, baseball, you're out in the batting cage swinging at pitches over and over and over again. Or perhaps you're a pitcher. You're throwing pitches over and over and over again. It doesn't matter. If you're a writer, you keep writing over and over and over again. Anything that's a skill requires repetition to master. If you want to be a judo master or karate master, what do you do? The same thing over and over and over again. So, what do I do? I post what looks like the same thing over and over and over again. But each day, the numbers on the charts are slightly different. The price position is slightly different. But the method's the same. I've been doing the same thing for years. Why? So somebody can come along and follow along for years and see that hey this works or maybe they don't understand a point but then after seeing it 10 or 50 or 100 times finally something clicks they go oh finally I get it I see I understand I get private messages all the time from traders who thank me because they, they don't want to do it in public because, you know, because of all the haters out there, they figure they'll get attacked. But, you know, haters, w w what's your point? I mean, really, w w what's your point? If you've got something to say about your method, then, th then open your own thread and show why your method works. But to come along and try and, you know, poo-poo on my method, I mean, does it make you feel good? 
I mean, really, you guys cracked me up. Let's see, was there any other questions out there? Um, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, but, you know, I, I posted the rat reversal rules. Somebody just recently said, well, hey, maybe if you make a video, well, I made a video about the rat reversal, okay? And you say, well, you need to be, your rules aren't clear. I, I think I've done a pretty good job of explaining the method. Of, of course, I, I added a couple of words in here and there. I added a rule, rule number seven. You know, if the first six rules don't mention it, it's of no concern. Do the rules mention a specific time of day? No. Then it's of no concern. Do, do, do the rules mention the previous daily high-low? No. So it's of no concern. So a lot of times people think that I'm not answering their questions. But I am. If you read the rules, if, if you ask me a question online and I post the rules, that's the answer to your question. Okay? Now, as I said in, uh, what was it, uh, Tony Robbins says, you know, if you don't like the answers, then ask a better question. It's that simple. So if you have a, make your question specific, then I can, you know, if it's something that's outside of the rules, it doesn't count. But if it's within the rules, then I think I've explained it. You know, you know, somebody says, well, what if you have, you know, use volume? Do the rules mention volume? No. Is it of any concern? No. It's that simple. Because if you start talking about volume, especially in rat reversal and forex, you're bordering on becoming a Yale student. And for those of you who don't know what I mean by that, if you read about the uh, T-shaped maze experiment, bottom line is the rats got cheese 60% of the time, Yale students got cheese 52% of the time, so the rats beat the Yale students. And I post that usually once a week or once every other week. So, once again, through repetition, if you keep reading it, you might get it. But if you just, if you see it and you ignore it, then I can't help you. Anyway, I guess the bottom line is, is that, you know, nobody's got a gun to your head forcing you to read my threads or watch my videos. You're choosing to do so. So, you know, just show a little respect. I'll show a little respect. And then we can all get along like Rodney King says, right? I think, didn't even Hillary Clinton say something like that recently? Interesting. So, traders, remember, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it.